Hey, 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 hey. How are you doing? Now, would you date yourself? As a single person, for those that are watching this and you are a single person, you want to date with purpose, you're trusting God to, for your person to bring you the man he kept for you, uh, you're trusting God to give you that soulmate, to bring your soulmate. The question I need you to ask yourself is, would you date yourself? If you were to come across someone like you, would you give them attention? Would you take them seriously? Would you actually date them and eventually marry them? Because no matter how much we say, uh, I can't find my person, I'm so dating is so hard, I'm so I have dating fatigue, I get all kinds of complaints, especially about dating. But the question is, are you the right person for you first before we even start looking at other people? If you're not the right person for you, you cannot even date yourself for you. Then that's the problem. There is a problem there. And so when you ask yourself, would I date myself? Um, if the answer is no, for me, the first time I asked myself that question, my answer was no. I remember I asked myself that question when I was I had just left a dysfunctional relationship and had started working on myself. And then I, I came across that term, would you date yourself? And I was like, oh, I would not date myself. At that point, I would never have dated myself. And so when you ask yourself, would you date yourself? And if the answer is no, why? Why would you not date yourself? And now the reasons you give for not dating yourself, the reasons you think you have for not wanting to date yourself, those are the areas now you need to work on. So there's another client and I asked her, so would you date yourself? And then she was like, I would not want to marry someone with these anger issues. I have a lot of anger issues. Another lady was telling me, I would not want to date myself because I don't know how to manage money. Another lady was like, I would not want to date myself because I'm boring. So I want, I, I, I'd want someone in, interested. I would not want to date myself. Maybe those are the areas you need to focus on. You need to first become the right one for you to have the confidence to go for that person you want, to have the confidence to date better. But if you operate from I'm inadequate and you look inadequate and you're looking for someone to complete you, it never works because the people you're looking for that some ladies tell me you know I, I would not date myself because i want an adventurous person let me tell you adventurous people also don't want boring people Can, let's just call a speed a speed adventurous people also don't want people who are so boring and who are so plain and who are so um they are not interesting enough they also want people on that level and that's why even sometimes I, I I encourage ladies, go on solo trips, take yourself on a nice date, get out of your cocoon, get out of your routine, get so, so that you can break the monotony. Because also the people who are traveling, the people who are going to Monaco, they are going to Tokyo, they are going to Cape Town, they also want to have a conversation with someone who's interested in those things. Someone who's also been to, to the end, even if you've not gone to those um, international um you know destinations they also want to have a conversation with someone who enjoys traveling who has traveled and who loves adventure so you sit there and tell me oh Mloni, i love adventure when was the last time you traveled you know i haven't traveled in the last two years when was the last time you took a solo trip so when i take a solo trip what will i be doing in the trip i'll be so bored because you have not learned to enjoy your own company because you don't think you can be interesting enough also on your own and sometimes when i'm even talking to some of these single moms and they tell me oh Tony, sir they, 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 they have tied they've tied their value to performing and tasks so when i tell them you need to take a solo trip you need to unwind you need to learn to relax and then they ask me so what will i be doing during the trip, solo trip what will be my work then and i tell them your work will be to apply sunscreen on your body your work will be to sip mojitos and mimosas. Your work will be to take a walk on the beach. Your work will be to eh, to swim. Your work will be to, to get a massage at the hotel. Your work will be to go around that area looking at uh, tourist attraction sites. So you have to ask yourself, can you date yourself? If your answer is no, then you're not ready to date. You are not ready to date until you work on yourself and you get to a point where if you ask yourself would i date me the answer is yes a strong yes i got to that point and i actually it was interesting because the moment now i got to you remember what you remember what i've told you the first time i asked myself if i could date myself the answer was a strong no like i knew i knew i couldn't have dated myself and then now the moment i asked myself that question the second time oh it was a strong yes and i remember asking myself so why did i say yes this time and the answer was because i'm amazing 
Because I'm great. Because why not? Why would someone not want to date me? That confidence in yourself will give you the relationship you're looking for. It will also make you also weed out people who are not um, aligned to the person you are, or who are below you, or people who you're trying to overcome. You won't keep dating in cycles, in cycles, and in, in circles. In these circles, you're dating kind of the same person, you go to another one, yeah. So when if you ask yourself, would you date yourself, and your answer is yes, yes, I date myself. Why? You need to also know why, so you can move around in confidence. So even when you go on dates, when you're not there thinking, oh my God, this guy, I can't lose this guy. Oh my God, this guy is in travels. I want someone who, you also travel. You're also interesting enough. You are complete the way you are on your own. And by the way, if you ask this question and your answer is no, you need to book a session with me or you need to take one of my dating packages. We have to work on you. And if your answer is no, don't be so hard on yourself. My answer was no. And two years later, I, I met my husband, actually, when I, I uh, two, um, my answer was no when I asked myself the first time, and then I worked on myself, and before even two years, I, I think when, after a year is when I started dating, but I didn't actually get into a relationship until I met my now husband. So, don't be so hard on yourself, it happened, it has happened to uh, other people who did the work, who found themselves and actually even settled down, and they are actually happily married. So if this is you, you have some work to do. Yes. So I want you to ask yourself, would you date yourself? And I actually want you to tell me down at the comment section. Would you date yourself? And if not, why would you not date yourself? If you would date yourself, yes. And if you'd actually marry yourself, why would you marry yourself? I just want to see and I want to interact with you. Anyway, bye-bye.